Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon, this rather cold February afternoon. Uh, we start in chapter 7 of Proverbs, 7 verse 1. Solomon says these words, My son, keep my words and treasure my commandments within you. My son, my daughter, keep my words. And the revelation of to keep is to make sure that it's there available in the circumference of your life. Keep it in you. He says, keep, keep what? Keep my words. And God's words are the words that bring us into life. They are seeds that he's wanting to plant, keep in the spirit of who we are. So when he says, my son or children, keep that so nurture into the who you are, the spirit of your heart, nurture the words that will bring you life. Keep them in your hearts. And the commandments of God is the revealed ways of God. And when God has given us a revealed way, the reason he's given it to us is because he wants us to live that way. He wants us to live in the way of his revealed word, the commandments, the instructions. And why does God want to do that? Because he knows that if we live and let his words live in us, they will produce a harvest of good things, which means if we don't let them live, then when we hear them, they will die. But when we let them live in us and we keep them and we nurture them into the reality of who we are, then and only then do we get the privilege of bearing a harvest. And in the process of keeping, we have to water and we have to feed we have to regurgitate and replenish and we have to allow the sun to influence and the rain to bring refreshment. And the sun and the rain and the wind and the seasons are all the different factors of our identity and our experiences. And all of those things are what gives the word the opportunity to test the blessings that God is longing to bring into our lives. As we allow circumstances to be influenced by the word that he has planted in us. My son, keep my words. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.